is Jody Newell, <laughs> and I'm a member, uh, a member leader of Rights and Democracy New Hampshire. The American Rescue Plan, which was passed thanks to our con Congress members Chris Pappas and Annie Custer, and our Senators Maggie Hassan and Jean Shaheen, <laughs> has been a lifeline for New Hampshire families and communities. As a homeless advocate, I've seen the impact on struggling families in our shelter community, and as a single mother, I've felt it firsthand. I was fortunate to work through the pandemic, but I know many whose lives were thrown into disarray with their kids home, remote learning, and many businesses closed for extended periods, leaving them short or completely missing their regular paycheck. On top of that, uh, these accommodations require things like internet access, laptops, etc. All of these expenses that you don't expect to come along with it. And honestly, uh, the stress was palpable. I believe we often underestimate and undervalue the impact of uh, the quarantine and the uh, measures we needed to take on our mental health. With much of the weight falling on the, on the shoulders of low-wage women and families, relieving the financial strain helped us to focus on the important things, namely our children. It was heartening to see members of our community come together to create mutual aid networks, but this could not uh, possibly have addressed the, the scale of the problem. And the American Rescue Plan was an absolute lifesaver for so many. To be sure, there were many families struggling to get by before the pandemic, and while the American Rescue Plan delivered much needed assistance in the face of the crisis, there is much more we can do to help families like mine thrive. I'm here today to both celebrate the huge victory that that uh, expanded check uh, oh my goodness that expanded child tax credits represent for me my family and millions of children and families across the country and also to call on our elected officials to pass the most ambitious American families plan possible a plan that makes the expanded child tax credit permanent so that it's protected from future attempts to repeal it a plan that reigns in the exploitative practices of the health insurance and pharmaceutical industries expands Medicare and puts us on a path toward a health care system that is a universal public good, not a profit-driven screen. Uh, a plan that creates a universal paid family and medical leave program. As we've heard, uh, these things are absolutely essential to support thriving families and children like mine. Um, and I would like to introduce Amy Custer.